Hello there Year 10 and during this unit we've been looking at democracy and voting and why it's important to vote and why it's important to live in modern Britain really the idea of what it means. So the key thing is that voting and democracy is how we as citizens can change what happens in the UK. And this happens through the democratic process and is a fundamental part really of British modern life. We've learned how every five years people in the UK vote for their local MP and how important this is and how people have fought over the years for the right to vote, you know, whereas before it was it was rich men who vote and now everybody over the age of 18 can vote. We've looked at whether or not the first past the post system is a fair one, but actually by looking at whether it's fair is we understand it, how the 650 members of parliament are elected and the good and bad points of the system and you know, you've got to make up your own mind hopefully as a form as to what was good about the first past the post system and what was bad about it. We've looked at what a hung parliament is, when 326 members of parliament are not hit by any one particular party, and what happens then, and we saw in 2010 how that happened in the general election then. But ultimately, really, I suppose the idea is that we're very lucky to live in a country that has such a system as the democratic processes that we have here. And here are a few advantages of why that system is important, and I'm just going to list five of them really. The first one is the interests of the people are kept. Those in charge have to listen to the people. For example, you can really see that with the Brexit vote that happened in, in 2016 and how the government of the time really have to listen to what the people think. The second one is that equality is promoted. Everyone in a democracy is equal as far as the law is concerned. It has to be because everybody gets that one vote. Number three people become politically aware. If we didn't live in a democracy then people wouldn't talk about the politics because we'd either live in a place where it was just ruled by one party or something like that. But here in this country for example you are hearing about the system that you will vote for. You're learning about it now and that's that's a really empowering thing. Number four, there's very little likelihood of a violent overhaul of the government. People generally, if they know that they can vote for the government in the next couple of years or five years' time, they will generally will wait for the election and then have to abide by the electoral system. And number five, I suppose a very, very important one, is if you disagree with someone or something that's said in politics in the Houses of Parliament or in the House of Lords, you can stand as a candidate for a Member of Parliament. In the last general election, we had our youngest ever member of parliament, who was a Scottish MP, this lady here. And who knows, we might have the next Prime Minister here in year 10 listening to this video now, thinking to themselves, I don't agree with what they're doing, I'm going to make my own mind up, and I'm going to be a member of parliament, and who knows, maybe even Prime Minister.